In the 1980s, I was watching the news one time, and there was some kind of political parade, and a guy who looked exactly like Gorbachev stepped into the parade, and then the Secret Service freaked out and like tackled him. And I remember like being a teenager and seeing that, and I was like, that's what I want to do someday. My name is David Henry Brown Jr. I'm an immersionist performance artist. In 1999, I became obsessed with Donald Trump and I stalked him for a year as a work of performance art. It's actually supposed to be a Bill Clinton wig, I think is the idea. As part of my obsession with Trump, I, I, I went undercover um, as a sort of a conservative, run of the mill, like white guy. I met him and I sort of studied the people that were around him and I kind of became them. I wanted the Donald and his circle to affect my perception and my behavior and my judgment. The magnetism of a figure like, like Trump, I attribute to humans are inherently in, in awe of the people that have power over them. I feel that magnetic pull on myself too. I am serious. I've seen what's happened. I've seen polls come out that say that I'd win, and that would, you know, obviously before I did it, I'd have to make sure I could win. Uh, I really, in fact, the National Enquirer, of all folks, did a poll recently, and they said I'd win the election. And then the person that I'm obsessed with announces they're going to run for president. It was like a gold mine. It was absurd beyond belief. So I went ahead and I made, made the signs and I started campaigning right away. If you're tired of the bullshit, you should think about voting for Trump, basically is what I'm saying. We interviewed people with the Trump for President sign and asked them, would they vote for Donald Trump? There was definitely a lot of interest. I'd like to see him take a shot, you know? Yeah. Like I say, there ain't nobody really out there that's, uh, you know, that's worth anything that, you know, like that's an outstanding candidate, yeah. you know what I mean? All right. Yeah, I like the guy. I like, uh, the, I like the guy. Uh, how so? Well, what do you like about it? Good man. Yeah, good man? Yes. The reactions uh, when I look at them now in the context of 2016 are like really loaded. What I was doing then by intuition or dumb luck was very prescient and, and predicting the future. If you had uh, one question you'd like to ask Donald Trump. Okay, we're to... concerned about uh, immigrant laws. You're concerned about where are you from? From Colombia. From Colombia, right. Exactly. We need somebody who fights for our rights too, you know? Right. Mm -hmm. All right. Donald, Donald Trump, Trump for president. As an artist, I find kinship with things that are just totally counterintuitive to most people. Or I almost like, like looking at something that's like, just rubs me the wrong way and I'll try and like find kinship with, with it. At the time, I saw that Trump had all the attributes of performance art and conceptual art, albeit like sort of morally skewed. If Ivanka weren't my daughter, perhaps I'd be dating her. You know? <laughs> Stop it. He is a performance artist, there's no doubt. Bing, bing, bong, bong, bing, bing, bing. He's, he's loaded, he's like action art. They're bringing drugs, they're bringing crime, they're rapists. It's freezing here. Speaking of global warming, where is we need some global warming? I just thought it was totally Dada. It was like society had like turned inside out. You could see like into the heart of America through Trump. Trump, Trump for president. president. Donald Trump president, yes. All right. Good luck, gentlemen. This is what should happen for the election, is that Hillary Clinton should become president and Donald Trump should become president of the United States on his own reality TV show, but not in real life. And then we go all out and get like Kim Kardashian to be the Secretary of State, and the whole nation can ventilate this urge to make Donald Trump for president by giving him his own reality TV show.